Hey everybody, it's Evan for GetMethod.com and Method is a site for architectural designers who want more training in digital design. And today I am going to be talking about Artlanis, which is a rendering program for both Mac and PC. And it's a standalone rendering program, which means you don't do any modeling in it. You strictly do rendering and animation. And what we're going to do today is take a model from Bonsai, which I built, and I'm going to take that into Artlanis and kind of show you how to use Artlantis if you've never used it before or if you need a refresher on how things work. It's a really easy program to use for architectural rendering and it's really good at it. The image quality is awesome. So I definitely want to show you that. And uh, no matter what modeling program you're using, if you're using Revit or SketchUp or Bonsai or whatever, you can check out my cheat sheet which is a heading on my getmethod.com site and if you click on that, you can download the cheat sheet, which is a PDF, and it will show you all the different file formats that you could use to get into Artlantis from the various programs. And uh, not only that, but it also shows you how to get from program to program, how to send that geometry back and forth between them. So check that out, and it's a free PDF. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Uh, right now, I'm going to jump into Bonsai and then into Artlantis with our model. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are in Bonsai, and this is the model that we're going to use today. And uh, you could use any model. I wanted to show you something that had a lot of different materials in it, so I could show you how the material systems work inside Artlantis. You can see that um, I've set this up in Bonsai with materials assigned to it from Bonsai's material library. Uh, which isn't that important. Basically, it's it's for me to be able to visually distinguish between all the different materials. You can see I've got mullions, I've got glass, I've got some metal panel, I'm going to have some aluminum, lots of different types of concrete. Um, I have some grass and planting areas. I have um, some decomposed granite over here. I've got a water feature. So. Um, all of these different materials are going to show up in Artlantis, but I'm not necessarily going to use them there. Um, so it is important when you're working in your modeling program, no matter what it is, that you set up the materials ahead of time. And they can just be different colors. They don't have to be photorealistic or anything. You could just use default. You know, all your concrete could be gray and all your glass can be blue and whatever, because that's the easiest way to work once we get into Artlantis. It will look at all the different colors of your model and then we can assign materials based on that. Okay? All right, so when we export from whatever program we're working in, we want to make sure that we tell it to export